Hi guys. Um, so as you know, recently I went to the Love Yourself tour. Friday, day one in Newark. So I made a vlog um, of, of the day. Super fun. You should watch it. If you didn't, I'll link it below. It was amazing. And I wanted to do a experience video because obviously in a vlog you can't get everything and there are some things I want to say so that's what I'm gonna do now um I'm sorry if my thoughts are unorganized I'm just gonna kind of like go through the day and like mention things that I want to mention so I'll do that um yeah so it all started obviously when Big Hit announced a love yourself tour this year and they said tickets tickets go on sale may 5th and the show the newark show that we would go to is <laughs> september 28th we were like wow that's very soon like everything everything did happen really fast um and we didn't really plan like things just turned out this way but yeah so it was me and four of my friends and originally we were planning to go for p6 the the cheap tickets because we didn't know if we'd have money or if we'd be allowed to go or things like that. But, um, yeah. But later we decided to shoot for P1. Mm, starting out, we didn't know if we wanted, like, seated or general admission. And we decided to go for seated because we heard things about the pit that kind of deterred us. But, yeah, things didn't <laughs> work out that way because when you're buying tickets... Nothing goes how you planned. Um, but yeah, in our case, that worked to our benefit. Um, but I know lots of my mutuals on Twitter couldn't get tickets um, this time around. Um, honestly, we weren't expecting to get the tickets that we did. Um, our luck this tour was like next level. Super grateful, super happy. Um, when the day to buy tickets came around, I went over to my friend's house and it was just the two of us buying it for five people. Um, and they said you could buy up to six P1 tickets in one order. And we were like, okay, but like we were thinking six P1 tickets in one order, it's highly unlikely we're gonna get them. Um, we were only shooting for five, but you know, maximum was six, but we were like, <laughs> that impossible, we can't. Um, and then, Ticketing opened up and obviously we forfeited having control of anything over the process so we did get P1 but general admission and we were super happy and scared <laughs> at the same time. We got five general admission tickets in one order and we were super shocked because we were watching people on Twitter and like around try for tickets for hours one p1 ticket and not get it so we were super shocked that we got five in one order and we're super grateful didn't expect that to happen don't expect it to happen ever again but yeah so that happened and in the coming months we prepared a lot we researched a lot um because i am five feet and my friend is like five three and we're just short people okay um yeah so if you know anything about pit you know shoving and pushing and the tall people have the advantage so we were really scared and we did want barricade but that was completely like out of our minds until like the tour like the date came closer than we were thinking about ways um to get barricade and my friend she went and camped out two of my friends they went and camped out I didn't camp out and my other friends, we didn't camp out, um, we just went early in the morning. And camping out does have its advantages, but if you want, like, there are certain spots in the, I don't know how to explain this, there are certain spots, obviously there's different areas for barricade, and there are certain spots that everyone wants barricade for, and other spots where it's just like more chill, so we 
you know, for the more chill one because we didn't want to be pushed around and shoved around as much. And the more chill spot actually did really have a good view. Like, you could see everything, kind of. Um, it was just... It had a, its disadvantages, too, but obviously we didn't feel them because it was just an amazing experience. I went with my friend who had camped out so she got barricaded by like the catwalk part of the stage on the left side and my other two friends they went on like in the front of extended stage where it was my more pushy shovey the more sought after spot so they didn't get barricaded but they got pretty close to it so it was a win for them because they're taller but us short people gotta do what we have to do but yeah um yeah so that happened um, there was a couple things, like, the wait was the whole day to get into the venue, but it didn't feel like it, like, I really like the LGBTS studio thing, because I chose Namjoon to meet, to meet, and I literally have tricked my brain into believing it has met Kim Namjoon, but yeah, so I really like that, um, I'll show you my picture. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'll just put a picture in of it. It looks pretty realistic. If they didn't just, if you just dialed down the whitewash on June. But I'm not complaining, it's nice. Um, yeah, so totally met the world's leader. But yeah, they gave these cute, like, cart, these. Ooh, it's like a glare from like yeah and there's this one i really like that they did that and it was like next to the merch as well i didn't go for merch it was not a priority for me because we also had to get my friend to sound check because okay they did it by orders this time so like if you bought tickets p1 tickets in a group if you won, only one, you like only one, like only one of them won because it wasn't entered into the system as like a raffle per ticket. It was per order. So like if you won, the order won. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically all five of our tickets were reduced down to one chance. Um, and yeah, we did get sound checks. So we gave it to our friend. She deserves it. Um, but yeah, she loved it. It was, according to her, a very great experience. You could see her fangirl about it in the vlog. Link below. Wristbands. My friend who camped out got 197. We came in the morning, kind of, and we got a better spot than we would have imagined. Got 729. I wouldn't rely on the number you get for your wristband as an accurate um, prediction of where you're gonna end up in um, in like in terms of like the stage because I had a friend in another show she got like 1500 and there was there's only like 1600 for my show there was only 1600 people in pit and she got 1500 but she was she was like third or fourth row from barricade it was pretty good so i went away on that and the fran project was really cute um yeah i really liked it but this was so yeah that was really cute um i had obviously my ticket I, you how many times i stared at this it was like holy grail um but yeah so because me and my friends were in got barricade we didn't really feel the push pushing and shoving aspect of pit but i'm sure the people behind us there was a lot of that going around and you just in those two hours you get really close with everybody around you in ways you kind of don't want to but you have to because you want to see your boys and that's that's what happens but yeah we were super close um 
from interactions. Okay, I want to talk about interactions. So, main stage is over here. There's like a diamond, a big diamond, and then there's a catwalk, and then there's a smaller diamond that's extended stage. So where we got, where I got barricade with my friend, was along the catwalk, like on the left side, and. My other friends, they got it an extended stage, a little bit, obviously third row from Barricade. Um, but each spot has its advantages and disadvantages. So where we were, we could see like me, like choreographies, like the solos, Euphoria, Trivias, all those, I'm Fine Idol, those over here, we had a good view of that. Um, whereas the people all the way back here by extended stage couldn't really see that except for up on the big screens. Um, but we could see it in person really good. Um, but over here when they came to do like outro tier, um, um, like drop, all those things, we had like our view was like the backs of them we could see. We could still see it um, in person really close, but like the back. Whereas the people in extended stage obviously could see it in the front. So they had a good view of that. Um, interaction wise, we were on the catwalk, so they did do a lot of interactions. But more towards extended stage is where I would say the interactions happened. Um, but they did come up to us. I remember this one time during Magic Shop, Yoongi was like, so show me, I'll show you. And the next so show me and then he points at me and he goes i'll show you and i was like oh my god oh my god and then like during the medley during go go we were we were like dancing we were like da, da, da. and then take him up and he like started dancing with us and that was pretty cool <laughs> um and then at one point like puzzle you know that thing where they take the water bottle and splash everybody. Splash me, kind of. <laughs> Baptize my hose up. But, yeah. Um, there were some more interactions, but I didn't take a video of them or other. But I... Some of... All of the members were near us. Oh, and we saw Namjoon and Jungkook shoot dance during So What across the catwalk. That was... Seeing that in front of your own two eyes and seeing that through a screen is just something different. <laughs> but yeah, dorks. Anyways, all the members did come up to us at one point. Not all of them talked to, like, interacted with us, but they all were like near us at some point which i understand because you have this whole entire stadium you can't expect them to just come to you and so i'm super grateful for the interactions i did get um um anything that stands out oh <laughs> when the concert first started everything was super the mood was super like lit not to be john cook but it was lit it was lit um <laughs> And I was like, I'm not gonna cry. Why would I cry? I can't cry when the vibe is like this. And then Epiphany came and my friend next to me, she started crying and I was like, okay, I might, but I doubt it. And then I made it through Epiphany, nothing happened. And then during the truth untold, Jungkook, I was looking at him sing and he was closing his eyes and just singing and just like being in the moment. And I was like, okay, let me try that. So I did that. And then the next time I opened my eyes was during Taeyong's verse. And the way he sang it, like I'm sure there's a fan cam out there. There is of newer the emotion on his face and like Jim and Jin, they did the same. It sent me and I like for the next half of the truth and told I was just sobbing. I missed that. I like my friend was like holding me up kind of. It was it was bad but in a good way. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, yeah. And then it was over, it was like super fast, like, I don't, like, it just came one after the other, like, there wasn't a pause, and it was just like, it was much faster than anything I expected, like, the anticipation of the whole day, it was just, 
yeah, I miss it. Currently, me and my friends are going through post-concert depression. Not the most fun thing. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, I just wanted to touch on those. I probably missed a lot of stuff in this video. so unorganized. But I just wanted to, like, mention some of those things. Obviously, if, like, the research that we put into, like, Pit and, like, all of that... I still have it, so if if anybody wants like tips on what to do during GA, like in the GA, or in the pit, or in like how how to finesse the ticketing system and get the tickets you want, I have lots of tricks. So just let me know, and I'll do that. And hopefully, next tour they can help you out, or even this tour if you're like in Europe, because okay, right now I'm. Right now they're in Chicago, as of when I'm making this video. Um, and then they're coming back to City Field, and I, like, I live near City Field, and they're gonna be like near me. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's it. And in the future, I might make a better experience video because this one is not planned. It's like all over the place, but. I wanted to like get some of my thoughts out while they're still sort of fresh in my mind. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope this, I don't know what this was meant to do for you, but for me and for you. So, anyways, bye.